Police have admitted their new $150 million digital radio network is having teething problems. The heavily encrypted system is supposed to stop criminals from listening in, but they're not the only ones who can't hear, nor can the police. Dan Parker with this report. Lower Hutt police were the first in the country to trial the new secure digital network and the first to encounter its problems. A source inside police has revealed the most serious is the number of places the radios don't work. Wellington's hilly suburbs and heavily concreted areas often resulting in a complete loss of signal. There are always issues with any new system. There were issues with the old system. As they arise, they're generally being fixed, but the positives certainly outweigh any of the negatives. The other problem is the slowness of the system to activate. 3 News understands it takes five seconds from when the button is pressed until the encrypted radio connects to the network. Is that sort of an acceptable amount of time if, if somebody's in an emergency situation? There are always issues with every new system, but the positives outweigh the negatives with this one. Yeah, so, but the, these will be worked through? Are these changes going to be made to this change radio? Changes will be made and the changes will be worked through. The radio's manufacturer, Tate, has set up a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week support line to work through any technical faults encountered. And police told 3 News, as problems arise, we're working with staff to fix them. As part of that process, a change of linking software in the network has alleviated the issue of audio loss. Given the dropouts and the concerns that officers have brought to the association, how would you mark this trial period? The trial period has been very positive. The association has been involved from the start. There will always be issues with any new system. That's why it's being trialled. But the trial will soon be over and the stakes raised. Police are pushing ahead with the nationwide rollout with both Auckland and Canterbury going digital in 2010. Dan Parker, 3 News.